Ooh, nice one. I think that's a pretty relevant magic. It's helmsman in Greek. Kubernetes is the way to uh, manage your packaged uh, applications, right? It's an orchestration tool. That is it. Yeah, orchestration sounds much fancier. Yeah. So, so, so if we want to go into the more like, uh, you know, networking layers, these kinds of things, then I would say Kubernetes is a standardized uh, community uh, driven API. Uh, for running large-scale systems. Yeah, it's more of an orchestra, really. You can just imagine an orchestra, and you want you want someone to you want some bass. Well, I don't know a lot of music, but you do, you want some bass somewhere. You want something. You want some other sound, and you're basically uh, the orchestra has the ability to know where what what where what <laughs> where something goes at what time and at the right time and just the ability to keep it going as and as long as it can and as consistent, consistent, consistently as you can. It's in in my opinion, it's a basically an application management platform. Um, it has grown from simpler roots, basically just the fact that um, we wanted to run Docker containers in the cloud, and now we have to decide which container to launch on which machine, and we wanted to automate that decision. So that's how uh, container schedulers were born. But once you have a scheduler, you have a brain basically that knows where everything is running. So you can start adding more and more features like uh, making sure those containers are healthy, making sure they get restarted, making sure traffic is routed to them correctly. And that's how basically from schedulers, we had orchestrators, and now it's something like Kubernetes is practically an, an application platform that uh, that manages many, many aspects of the application. And then we build on top of that yeah, more and more things like service meshes and so on. And not just the application, you also get the underlying cluster management for multiple nodes. So you don't actually manage the nodes, but you manage the applications on top and across the nodes. Yeah, so I've, I've heard it described at some point as the operating system of the cloud, where, you know, it's that new level of abstraction where, okay, we don't care about the physical servers anymore. Now, you know, we don't even care about the operating system. Now it's, we have Kubernetes there and okay, we can install our applications again, whether it's some Amazon or, or Google or our own private cloud. It's, you know, the operating system there is Kubernetes. So that's, again, any applications which know to speak that language can can run there. Yeah, so I guess I would define it something like um, it's a sort of missing a software layer between a container or set of containers that make up your service and how you run them on an abstract cluster in a data center. So it'll take care of things like choosing which node or which computer to run a given container on, and it'll also take care of things like networking them together uh, and giving them an endpoint, et cetera and recovering you know, health checks and recovering things automatically um, and also rolling things back. So it adds all these sort of extra stuff that you need to effectively run an application um, onto your cluster. I was just saying it gives you that fancy interface again. It's an interface for managing all your resources. I, I, have, I have to uh, say that um, Kubernetes, you can do with, so, so what Kubernetes does, you can do without Kubernetes, right? It's, it's very possible to do it. Kubernetes just made it easier and gave you that API or, or that interface. Um, to put it another way, if you consider like you've got your containers and you, you might think, well, Kubernetes is too complicated. Um, I want to just do this myself. I know how to get this container running on a server. And that's probably quite true. Um, thing is, like, say you've got several containers and you've got several computers. You've now got to decide which a node or computer like your, your containers run on, you've got to figure out how to network them together, and you've got to figure out how to expose them to the internet. Um, and you can totally do all those things, um, but you can also get Kubernetes to do it for you with like a YAML file. So that's pretty much what it is to me. 